there's a lot of talk of change, a lot of talk of development, and how can corporates keep up with the, with this change? Uh, with, how can corporates keep up with the change and the speed of change that yeah. is coming? Uh, yeah, so look, I think yeah, the message is the rate of change is only going to accelerate further. We've heard today that disruption has happened in other markets and it's coming our way. So from a board point of view, how can boards stay ahead of this disruptive change? Okay? Uh, and this disruptive change can come from technology, can come from a change of the energy mix, can change, come from the change of skill sets needed, can come from the change in the behavior of uh, consumers. Um, so I think boards have to start thinking about how to mobilize. Mobilize, I mean, set strategy and make sure they have the right team and resources to do that. How to execute, which means taking that team and t talent and making sure they're doing what the strategy says. Uh, but also to make sure how they transform. Transform means adopt new ways of doing things, be more efficient, being faster, using technology, but also transform by meaning, meanings, looking at new ways of, uh, new areas of business. Uh, because the speed of change means no strategy now is set for you know, a period of two or three years. It needs to be revisited every six to nine months just to make sure whether it's still relevant. So I think there's a lot on the board agenda around mobilization, execution and transformation. From what you know about boards in the region, are they um, well equipped, are they composed in a way that they can actually uh, handle? Those changes. I think uh, the composition situation is getting better. There are more independent board members on boards. There's more diversity of board members. So we're starting to see uh, people from different backgrounds and walks of life. We still uh, score very poorly on diversity of, of uh, gender, diversity of uh, geographic experience. There's still very local boards. And we also score low on diversity of age. So most boards are still full of very tenured executives and don't have some of the younger talent that you sometimes start to see now on some of the international boards. Um, so yes, so, so boards from a composition point of view are getting much better, but there's room to improve. Uh, in terms of understanding the challenge and the commitment of time needed to do their job adequately, I think that is the biggest gap. Absolutely. What did you think of the session today? I thought the session was excellent. I mean, uh, I don't think you could ask for an event anywhere in the world with a stronger mix of attendees. I thought the panel sessions were well structured. Maybe we needed a, a, a better summary at the end of the day, but overall, I think lots of takeaways for everybody. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you.